is Kenneth Gates with MMAAbsolute.com and we're joined via Skype with UFC fighter Brad Tavares who's a few days away from his bout against Dong Gi Yang at the UFC on Few TV 3 event. So Brad, how has your training been coming along and how do you feel about your matchup against Dong Gi Yang? Um, I, I feel it's a good matchup for me. Um, I feel real confident in in every aspect of this fight. Um, I don't think that you know he's better than me in any aspect. Um, I feel that I'm actually better than him uh, in everywhere the, the fight could go, standing, wrestling, on the ground. Um, that's not to say that Dong is not a tough opponent because he, he is. He's a very strong opponent, very durable, you know, hard to put away. In fact, he's never been put away. Um, so it presents a, a good matchup for me. Um, the type of fighter he is, it's going to make for a good fight. So I'm excited for the fight. And now, speaking of Mr. Yang, what makes him such a dangerous opponent, and and what do you what do you know about him as a fighter? Um, I've seen him fight on a few occasions. Um, his three fights in the UFC, uh, I tried to YouTube him a little bit. There's not too much uh, out there on him, but um, from what from what you can tell, just from looking at his style of fighting and at his record, that you know he's he's a type of guy that likes to fight. He's he's gonna make it a fight. Um, he's not you know like typically a guy that just wants to grind out a fight or something like that you know he, he's going for finishes and uh i'm gonna go for the finish as well um the thing about him is like i said he's durable hard to put away he's never been stopped in his career you know so um i don't really see it as a danger but uh it rather a challenge for me you know i want to be the first person to stop him to finish him um if it doesn't happen then you know i'm confident i'll walk out of there with a the victory either way now, we haven't seen you in the cage for almost a year now. How excited are you to get back in there and kind of throw down? Uh, very. You know, I, um, I fight because I love fighting. Uh, I don't do it to do conditioning or any of the other stuff. I do it because I like to actually get in there and fight. So it's been a long layoff for me. You know, I was set to fight in October, um, a little more than a week out from the fight. I got injured, had to pull out, and uh, that left a bitter taste in my mouth. But, you know, it's something that I needed to do. Um, so I'm, I'm healed up now, 100%, and just ready for this fight. Now, you and Max Holloway, who uh, is another UFC fighter, y you both train at a, a, some of the same training facilities. Have you guys been working together uh, in preparation for you guys' fights? Uh, no, not, not specifically for these fights. Um, when I go back to Hawaii, when I'm there, I oftentimes, uh, myself and... A few other of my teammates uh, from MMAD, we go down to Ryan Lazarus' school, which is uh, Gracie Technics. Uh, we train there. We cross-train with them a bunch. Um, that's also now where Max is located. Uh, he's he's under the Gracie Technics banner, along with Dustin Kimura and a few other guys they have there. So uh, that's the only time I really get to train with him. But, uh, yeah, um, it, it happens a bunch when I'm back in Hawaii. Uh, this... Uh, as you know, my camps I do out here, you know, um, I'm pretty much full time out here in Vegas, go back to Hawaii as much as possible, but I uh, trained for this fight out of Extreme Couture's, and uh, I think, I'm pretty sure Max trained uh, with Gracie's. Cool. Well, well uh, Brad, thank you for your time. Uh, in closing, is there anything you'd like to say to anybody, any shout outs or any last words? Um, you know, first of all, I'd just like to thank everybody that uh, supports me, uh, especially my family. You know, my friends, my girlfriend, um, everybody that's behind me every day that helps me do what I do. Um, my team, Extreme Couture, my coaches, Ray Seffo, Sonny Nohara, Ian Omauza, everybody that helps me get prepared, all my training partners, Jay Huron, um, Martin Catman, Mike Pyle, um, and everybody else I missed along the way. There's a bunch of them. Uh, also, like to thank my sponsors, Head Rush and um, Hayabusa. You know, thank you for always supporting. And, of course, I'd like to thank all the fans out there. Um, you know, without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. So continue to support me. Um, expect big things from me. And uh, follow me on Twitter at Brad Tavares. Well, thank you again, and uh, we'll be seeing you next week. Okay, Buster.